In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to darken some of that gray hair. Hello and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial where I will show you how to cover up some of the gray hair that you see right here. Yes, I'm using an image of myself again, my apologies, but it's the perfect one because I've got gray hair that I'd like to cover up. Uh, this tutorial is going to be really short because it's going to be very easy. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Make sure that your background is selected and then go ahead and press Control J. If you're on a Mac, that's Command J. So we're going to be working on the layer that we just created, the copy. And make sure that our colors are set to default. And up here in the toolbox, we're going to select the burn tool. Now, if the burn tool uh, isn't selected, if it's not there right now, go ahead and right click and that will bring up your little menu of options, which of course is the burn tool. Now I have my brush set at 180. Uh, you may want to go with something smaller or something bigger. Uh, this works perfect for me. For the range, you want mid-tones because gray is usually considered a mid-tone. And for my exposure, I'm going to go with 20%. 20% allows me to build up little by little without overdoing it. If I overdo it, it's going to look like uh, somebody took a can of spray paint and just started spraying my hair. It's going to look very unnatural. It's not going to look good at all. So the 20% allows me to build up the effect. So what we're going to do now here is left click while you're dragging. So click and drag. And I usually give it about six strokes and that seems to work fine. It doesn't look like much, uh, but when I'm done, but you'll see, you'll see a significant difference. Just keep doing it and do it. I never realized I had so much gray hair actually until recently. I usually cover my hair up, but, uh, or color my hair. Cover my hair up, yeah. Well, I do that sometimes too. But I usually, uh, color my hair. Because I got sick of the same old dark brown hair and I just wanted to do something different. Get a little bit up here. not really much talking while I'm doing this to show you but uh, see little by little it is building up but uh, like I said you cannot get rid of all of the gray because if you attempt that uh, you're gonna get a really unnatural looking do you know what I mean? This takes a little patience, but uh, you'll see the effects before you know it. more up here all 
right? So, um, now you'll see some gray in there, but as you can see here, the before and after picture, there is a significant difference. Before, after. Now, if you should uh, get carried away with overdoing it, you can always go here to the history palette and let's say one or a few of them were a little overdone. All you have to do is uh, hold your mouse cursor. Uh, click with your left mouse button right on the last image of the last move that you made, actually. Left click on that and drag it down into the trash can. All done. And so that's all there is to it. I hope you found value from this tutorial. And if you did, please leave me a like. Please leave me a comment. A nice one, please. And please subscribe if you haven't already because it really, really helps. Anyway, I'm CJ Grace and thank you for watching.